Hi folks, Kim Schofield here. Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be creating a project for the Crafters Workshop. So I will be using their products and stencils along with uh, many other products to create a two-page art journal layout. So this project was inspired by a video I saw from Julie Fafan Balzer. Uh, using some deli paper. So this is the way the deli paper comes. You can buy it on Amazon and you get 500 sheets in that box. So it's a, a great product that you'll have around for a while. So I saw a video that Julie was doing uh, using Art Foamies and this is one of her products. And I thought, hey, can I get the same look with stencils? So I have some paint out on a palette sheet and these are just, this is actually some scrap deli paper that I use behind my journals to keep paint from going on the other pages. And all I am doing is putting some paint out all over this uh, deli paper. You can tell I'm not really being um, very careful with anything. I'm, I'm just kind of slathering this on. And so what I'm gonna be doing in the project today is using stencils to create pattern. So really what I'm doing with the deli paper is just making my own custom paper uh, that I can use on art journals. And then we'll also talk about some other projects that we can do using uh, deli paper, either that stamped or stenciled. So I'll do a little bit of both on here. So I'm adding just a little bit of that darker umber color just because I had some of that in uh, that on that original paper that I had. And then I'm gonna dry that with my heat tool. So I'm gonna start with um, this stencil and some of my paint was a little damp. And so I thought I would use a baby wipe technique of trying to remove a little bit of the color and some of it came off. Um, it was really because I probably dried it a little bit too much, but I did get a little bit of that design that got pressed into the damp paint. And I really like that. You can see I'm kind of scrubbing here, trying to remove the paint. The best way to do this would have been to remove the paint while the paint was still very wet. But I kind of thought about doing that as an afterthought. And I got a little bit of texture there, um, which was pretty cool. And that's fine. Um, you can see I'm pointing out to a few of the little spots where it showed up. So now I'm going to completely dry everything and I am going to go in with a credit card and pick up a little bit of paint and I'm kind of experimenting here and just trying a bunch of different ways to apply paint through a stencil. Um, so this gets a little gloopy and it, you don't get great coverage but I like the look and then I turn the stencil over with that still wet paint on it and I can do a few more prints by doing that. And so again, applying that paint and I'll get a little bit of that design, but then when I turn it over, uh, I pick up that uh, reverse look, which I really like. And now I can even come and clean off my stencil with a baby wipe and that'll put a little bit down uh, through the stencil design as well. Baby wipes really are your best friend when you're art journaling. So I'm, I'm drawing those layers in between, at least trying to get them mostly dry before I move on to using the next stencil. So now I'm going to work with using a blending tool, uh, which tends to be one of my favorite uh, ways to apply ink through a stencil. And this is a very light green, so it's not a real strong color in the background, very subtle, because it's kind of the same tone as that blue. Uh, but that's okay, because this is going to be a background piece, so I don't want a ton of competing colors and designs. And again, drawing that once I'm done. And now I will come in with another stencil. Uh, I love this. And I'm picking up some darker color now. This is the color Night by um, Dina Wakely, and it looks black, but it's actually a very, very uh, deep navy color. And I loved the way this looked when I put that onto the page. And then I start going a little crazy because I like it so much, I want to put this everywhere. I loved that. And so that adds a really nice, bold, neutral color 
onto the page. And I'm just going to continue applying a little bit of this, um, the script around on those two pieces of deli paper. These deli papers are about eight and a half by 11. Maybe a little smaller. No, they're probably smaller than that. They're four, probably more like seven by four. So now I have some white gesso and I wanna give you a little tip. Um, I was finding that I was having a hard time getting my lid off. So you wanna make sure you really clean the cap on the white gesso. But what I ended up doing was taking an empty bottle. So this was a gesso bottle that I had a squeeze bottle and I put my white gesso in there. And so um, that's just a little tip for you. So I'm gonna take, now I'm gonna use the white with this stencil and apply that. And I'm doing, I'm dabbing up and down uh, because this has a little bit more delicate design. And so I don't wanna lose that by um, pushing too much paint through the stencil. So I can again also push that leftover paint once I stencil, I can turn the stencil upside down and whatever paint is left on the stencil from uh, me doing my stenciling, I can also just kind of put, rub my hand over that and I'll get a little bit of ink or a little bit of design left over from that. That's still on the stencil. So now I am just about done with my stenciling. And you can see I got a lot of design going on in the background. So now I'm gonna use some stamps. These are also by Julie Fay Van Balzer. And I'm just using some black acrylic ink. And one of the things I really like about some of Julie's designs is it's really meant to be a repeating pattern. So it's not something you use once or twice, you know, or, or maybe just once on a project. It's really meant to, as I'm doing right now, create a bunch of rows or lines and you can alternate the way these are stamped. So you can go vertically and then horizontally, even if those are bumped up next to each other, uh, that looks pretty cool as well. So if you were to do a couple of horizontal lines and then vertical lines right up against it, uh, that would look pretty cool. And so I'm just adding a little bit more design onto the deli sheet before I'm done. And now I'm gonna go in with um, using some more of Julie Stamps. I'm just using a gray. This is uh, Wendy Vecchi's watering can ink. And I just felt like I had enough of that stark black. So I wanted to use a gray, which you know still is a good neutral, but tones it down just a little bit. So I'm just adding a little bit more design on either side of those dashed lines. And these are little teeny X's, little teeny um, like crosses or addition signs. That's what it makes me think of. And so now once this is finished, I will be almost done with um, creating my own designer paper. And then I'm just gonna heat set all of that. So now I'm working in a small dilutions journal and you can see I've kind of got a lot of ink that came through on those pages and I'm using some multi-matte um, liquid glue to put this down. Now the great thing about deli paper is that it is super, super thin. It's almost like a tissue paper. And so when you apply it on top of a page, it's gonna almost disappear. It's gonna really look like it is part of the page. Like you actually created the design right there on the page. And so I'm just kind of playing around with the designs, trying to figure out what I want to have on here because some of this will be cut off. And uh, the deli paper, because it's so thin and delicate, uh, dries really quickly with a liquid glue. And I can just run my scissors down uh, the spine and it just, it tears super easily. And so I even, I went to cut some of these pages, cut off the excess and I realized it was just as easy just to tear it. And so that's, you can see, I'm like, okay, I'm all done cutting. <laughs> Not fast enough for me. So you can see how easily that tears and it tears with a really clean edge. I apologize, my uh, journal is a little out of view there. 
So I'm going to add my second page. And you can see how it really, it looks like I created the design right there on the pages of the journal, but it's so much easier to work on these flat uh, deli paper and then just uh, put that into the journal. So I'm just gonna continue tearing off that excess and then I'll show you a little trick on what I did with the excess deli paper. So now I just have a piece of regular cardstock and I have all these little pieces of deli paper that I tore off left over from the journal that I didn't use. And so I am going to apply some gel medium um, all around on the cardstock. And I can overlap these deli papers um, and you won't even be able to see any kind of seam uh, because they're so thin. They're really, they're so much fun to create with. And so you can see here, it's really, you can't, by the time I finish with this entire piece, you won't even be able to tell. And so what I can do is now I've got a whole nother piece of uh, designer paper that I will probably do some die cuts uh, from. So I can die cut out of this, which I thought would be pretty cool. And you can create a card with it or you could do some die cuts, something you would use in an art journal. And then I'll just set that aside to dry. So I uh, stamped, this is a Dina Wakely stamp set and it has these little, little heads and um, I stamped those and colored them with some Copic markers. And then afterwards, I realized they were kind of small and I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with them. And so I created these little bodies um, just using a Stabilo pencil, which you saw me use there, that when you hit that with water, it reacts. And um, then I colored in the, their dresses just using some Peerless watercolors. And so now I'm going to attach the heads onto the bodies. And then I really was trying to hide where the, the head and the body was. So I took some more uh, stamps from uh, Julie Fay Van Balser and also Wendy Vecchi. And I just added some design onto their dresses. And that kind of hides the, the uh where the, their heads are attached uh, onto their dresses. And so now I've attached them onto my art journal page. I've got a little Wendy Vecchi uh, matte mini heart. And then I did a little bit of journaling on the uh, girl's dress there in the front. And I attached her with foam tape so she pops up off of the uh, other two girls. So it's a little dimension there. And I'm just adding some Wink of Stella. So here you can see I added a sentiment that I just stamped on a piece of uh, paper and then I cut all the words apart so that it would fit in my journal. Um, I did add a little bit of gesso in the background just so that sentiment pops out and then I went around each of the words with a Stabilo pencil and you can see when I hit it with the water it reacts and I'm just highlighting each of my words there using a water brush. So that is about it for today's project. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed and uh, be sure to see the description below for a full list of all the products that I used on today's projects. Happy crafting!